Ladies and gentlemen, this is bout number six of the evening, the third of our lightweight tournament rounds. This fight brought to you by Fight Live TV and Liquid Silver Tattoo on Huddle. Three by five in rounds in the AFC lightweight division. Your referee in charge, Mr. Ignatius Missolides. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a mixed martial artist standing five feet, seven inches tall, with an official weight of 70.5 kilograms. A fight record, 13 wins, 12 losses. Fighting out of integrated MMA and Phuket top team, ladies and gentlemen, Gokhan, the pit bull for Gilmas. Second pit bull of the evening. And across the cage, his opponent, he is a brawler, standing five feet, eight inches tall, with an official weight of 70.65 kilograms. A record, four wins, five losses. Fighting out of Bee Stings and Gracie Shark MMA, representing New South Wales, ladies and gentlemen, the Samoan warrior, Mikey Vertua. Mikey Vertua. Go Khan Turkey Elmas. This one is going to be an absolute war. Two guys who are very, very, I wouldn't say not like each other, but very, very happy to go and hurt one another tonight. Did you see Go Khan staring through oh. Mikey Vatua? That, that was an intimidating stare down. And guys, the, one. the tour in the black trunks and Go Khan in the white. Third of our lightweight tournament fight. Wait, watch for this striking. Go Khan really technical on his feet. Oh, big right hand. Good fakes early by Turkulmis as well. Oh! Vatua, good power. Yeah, he's caught the leg, got a single leg, now work to the double. Mikey's cool, go guillotine! Two has got the guillotine locked in. He has got it locked in. We have a horrible angle of this, but it looks tight from this end. And this could shock everybody here at the Melbourne Pavilion. Mate, the crowd is dead silent. If Mikey hasn't got it, he's going to gas his arms, I'll tell you that. Gokhan's pretty deep, I think Gokhan has wrist control. I think he's pretty safe here. That looks deep, though. That looks really deep for me. Could be in deep. trouble. Definitely is deep. He needs to Ooh. turn his head to the right, or to his, to, not to the left, to the right. He's trying to stack him here. He's in full guard, so this is a really bad position he's for Gokhan. Get out. Well, he's in a lot of trouble, guys. The angle, oh, he's out, he's out. Oh, and again, the Mikey Vatua guillotine, very good. But now in horrible position once you lose the guillotine. Especially when your arms uh, would be a little bit unenergetic after 60 seconds of that. And credit to Gokan though, that looked look really bad from this angle. Gokan uh, definitely must stay very calm there. That wrist control was able to get out. That's and what I, that's what 25 fights does to you. It teaches you how to be calm. He's he cut though, he's definitely yeah, cut. Yeah, there's someone bleeding very, oh, very wow. heavily. Yeah, what? Gokan definitely cut here. A lot of blood there on the left of screen, Josh Warner. Mikey's caught him early. I'm not quite sure what strike it was, but again, 25 fights into a career, a little I bit like, of blood ain't going to affect him. I like how Gokhan has his right knee under his armpit. It stays nice and tight there. No space. Man. Yeah, it's smothering, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. And he just has to raise up and pick his shots wisely. Mikey, don't get carried away. Mikey very good on the ground, preferably in the position that Gokhan's in right now. But at the same time, he won't be giving up a, this fight either from this position. Number two, he needs to get his shoulders off that mat. He needs to start using that case to his advantage and start scooping his hips out. The crowd getting right in this one now. They are going absolutely berserk in Melbourne. Lot of Gokhan fans here. And great to see, given that he's an interstate fighter as well, so they've followed him out to Melbourne, but he has a great following as a fighter, because it's exciting, man. Everyone loves to watch exciting fighters, so organically they just build fan bases because they yes. fight good fights. And see, he has that right knee, Gokhan does, where, uh, you know, where Fatua cannot get his left arm underneath the leg to for, go for a sweep. That's so he's right. very tight there. Yeah, well picked up, Jason. And this is really, really uncomfortable for Mokhi He's Mokhi got the uh, underhook there, the far underhook. Good punches early by Turkey Mears again. Gokhan working the short strikes, just softening Mikey up, waiting for him to make a mistake. And nice then shoulder pressure by uh, Turkle Mars. Mikey's got the half guard locked in pretty well. Gokhan trying to wiggle his way out now to get into full side control, which would be a, a very Ooh, good position big, early on. Big strikes got through there. 
Yeah, a couple. Again, Mikey, man, they don't call him a Samoa Murray for no reason, so a couple of those little punches. I'd like to see, again, uh, Vatua, I'd like to see him get that lockdown. I'm big on the lockdown. <laughs> it's a pattern yeah, I'm picking up tonight, JC. I, you locked the lockdown. Absolutely. Eddie Bravo special. Absolutely. Mikey now looking for risk control, trying to stand his fight back up, but he's giving his back up to Gokan as well. Yeah, oh, he's got him off now, Mikey. This is Mikey's fight now. Landed Mikey. a big right on the way down, Josh. Dominant ground a position and then brings him straight back down. Toklamaz did a very nice job from preventing that right hook of uh, Vatuas. Get straight back up, though, and here we go now. Oh, oh elbow. Oh. elbow! Look at the punches. I told you, Gokan, he loves this. Oh, oh, Mikey Lance. Look at him call him on. Let's go, boys. Nice. This is a he war. Wants it. This is what the crowd wanted. Look at the crowd. They're going bananas here. Got to get off his knees for those takedowns. See how smashed you get there? Stay off those knees. This is, a fight. this is a fight that we've been waiting for today. Get that in was there. beautiful how he stopped that. And throw him. Totally must stop his back. He stopped him from getting his back by his overhook there. Lovely, his underhook there. and a lovely takedown to go with it. So that again, two takedowns now for Gokan in this round, plus some good striking exchanges, but really even first round, Jace. Yes, sure is. Mikey got 10 seconds to survive here, but I'll tell you what. What uh, a round, round, guys. Oh, big punches Ooh. by late by Gokan again. Up kick. Yeah, oh, oh, what a number one. I love it. I love the Warriors sportsmanship too. They Got want this Thiago Ferreira is. going absolutely bananas Mikey in the corner Fratua. right now. This is what yeah, one is about, guys. AFC 15, and it's only our third fight of this tournament. Absolutely, and anybody that says, you know, the sport's too brutal or whatever, and you, you just saw them shake hands at the end. They might have had some bad blood before. Once that bell rings, that all goes away because that's respect. This is martial arts. Let's make some noise, Melbourne. Round two. Once. Here we go, round two. What a war that first round was. The jab. I the jab. Oh! Mikey Vatua throwing the kicks out here. And his flexibility, they're very, very impressive there, Josh. For a solid. Oh, he got left by Vatua. Stalking him. Someone's getting knocked out here. Someone is going down in this fight. Oh, he shoots. Mikey, though, great footwork. Cut his angles well. Moving target is always harder to catch, Jace. Yes. Oh, I had to see him get his knees off that ground on the shots, though. Again, that is a pro. That is a guy that's fought a lot of fights. It's a lot of good people. Oh! Nice overhand, right? Cheerio to Adam Malenkovic, our CEO. It's always good to get two rounded fighters, but two that love to bang. Oh, Mikey this misses. He goes for the highlight reel finish and gets stung by Gokan. Now that's what his corner is telling uh, Chuklamaz to do, is to stay heavy, continue to do what he's doing. You're winning the fight. Do damage, pick your shots wisely. High risk, high, uh, sorry, high reward, high risk for Mikey. And unfortunately on this occasion, he's opened up the takedown for Gokan and once again in dominant ground position. Short elbows by Gokan, just softening the Mikey up nicely. Stays active. And guys, as, as even the first round was, you'd, you'd say Vatua spent a lot of the time on his back and might be down already. So this is going to be a, a really bad situation for him if he spends a lot of time on his back. Yeah, he's got to improve position, no doubt. A, he's going to eat elbows for four minutes, which isn't going to help his cause. But, you know, at the same time, M Mikey was really handling himself well in those exchanges. His jab was good. It was crisp. He was getting through the Gokan defense. So, for me, Mikey's best chance, at, uh, on the evidence that we have so far, is to get this back on its feet yeah, agree. and start exchanging again. I agree. As we say that, we're back up. Oh, and this Here is we the go. Look at this, Mikey Vatua. Calling him on. Let's go. He wants it. Oh, the jab again by Mikey. Oh, uppercut. Both guys not afraid to trade. They're not no, they're throwing sure the set-up punches. They're throwing to the finish his fight. There's, there's no setting up here. It's fight-ending punches from both angles. Gokan just wants a stand-up wall. And look Ooh. at his hands. Look where his hands are. Gokan Mars. Gokan Chokri Mars really likes that overhand right there. He does. Vatua, Vatua, the jab's been very effective. 
But again, you know, Gokan's smart enough to know I can sit there and throw punches the whole fight, or I can shoot at the appropriate time. Good takedown take defense down. by uh, Mikey Vatua. Very good takedown defense. He spreads his weight, distributes it evenly up against the cage. Very hard to take oh. down. Nice getting back fist there by Gokan. Mikey getting a little bit on the tired side, but still, output has been good considering he did miss weight. Oh, body shot. And he shoots again. Vatua's cardio oh, just looks like it slowed down a bit, boys. Nice. It, Mike is definitely tiring, but at the same time, you know, his output, considering he had, you know, not, not the greatest weight cut, has been very good so far. For Gokan, you know, back to where he's comfortable here. Ground control, half guard for Mikey, but, you know, Gokan's in a really dominant position right now, scoring points with those short punches. And Gokan, you know, he's got to know that uh, Mikey's had cardio issues in the past, so that really plays a, a role when he's dominating like this. Oh, the mental advantage that that would give him would be extraordinary. Gokan's fans getting quite uh, a boisterous right now behind their, uh, their, their favorite boy here. And right now he's doing him proud. He's doing yeah. his fans proud, he's corner proud. He's fighting a smart fight and he's beating Maki Vitura at this point in time. Yeah, Josh, you asked me what uh, his corner would be telling, what Gokhan's corner would be telling him. I'd be telling him to do the same thing that he's doing. <laughs> you know, he's doing everything great. Well, if they did, he has listened perfectly. And again, two, almost two rounds down in the books now and, and Gokhan, very impressive ground control. Ground and pound has been good. Hasn't put up a lot of submissions so far, but as you said, Jace, why change a successful um, process that he's implementing right now? Right. Short punches still. Mikey is active off his back right now. He's doing enough, but again, he's not scoring with those punches. He's not doing any damage, and, and he's fighting Gokan's fight right now. A lot of heart for Mikey Ventura, so much respect to him, you know? And Mikey brings heart. We know that every fight he brings heart. If you ask Mikey Vitua to fight a uh, heavyweight, he'll just say yes, boys, as long as I'll get in that cage. I have no doubt. There he goes. Now, nice getting off his side. See, I got off his side there. Now his shoulders, now they are, but he's, he's got to get his shoulders off that mat. He has At to least try one. At ten, least one. With 10 seconds to go, this, this round's almost in the book. you got to move your hips, man. Yeah, he, hip. has to, he has to do that hip escape. He has to explode and try and get back to his feet. That's it of round Here's number round two. What a fight, Gokan. ladies and gentlemen. Well, let me say this. It's easy to be an armchair quarterback when you're not the in there people, taking Gokan that rest down punishment. Oh, no doubt it's at all. All he can do is give a pink to the real position here. One and four out of me. This is the third. But he and doesn't look fire. bad. He looks pretty fresh there, Mike. I mean, he looks pretty, uh, you know, he's not exhausted. There we go. Like. Mikey throws the big punches straight away. Left hook, right hand combination. He expects fireworks in this round. But he needs to keep that left, right, that left hand up. Gee, duck well then. Go, go. Oh, that, right. head kick. Overhand right. Gets around the punch as well, though. Moving target every time. He's moving away from Gokhan's power. Mikey getting that jab in Gokan's face, always a smart strategy. Circling around. Oh, overhand, there it was, Jace. Yes. But the overhand straight into the, uh, the shoot for the takedown, I like that. And the takedown executed. Yes. Mikey trying the, the guillotine, but he's not going to get it from there. There we go again. Same process, short punches, maintain ground dominance. Ease his way through to the second round of this competition. Crowd getting right behind Gokan right now. They know that he's dominating this fight. And in this position here now, hard to see Mikey Vatua come back. Yeah, I think uh, the confidence now of Gokan will be skyrocketing, and I just think the confidence of uh, Vatua would really be depleting as we speak. Yeah, it is, and like I said, it's disappointing for Mikey because he hasn't had a great cut and he's probably not in the condition he wanted to be here. But he's fought well. At, at the moment, though, the, the, the ground game of Gokan has just been too good, and you know, there's no, no excuses for that. He's the better ground fighter right now. And in a very, very good uh, physical condition too, Gokan. As big as, we spoke about the other fighters, as big as lightweight we've seen in a long time. Full guard for Mikey Vatua. I'd like to see Mikey Vatua scoot his hips back, get his butt up against the cage, get his back up against his cage, and try to get up using the cage. Elbows from the bottom for Mikey Vatua. 
The tour's corner going absolutely berserk, guys. Yeah, Thiago Ferreira is, is quite up, uh, upset right now. But at the same time, you know, what, what can you do? He, he's being dominated on the ground. Mock is trying things. He has to try more, maybe. But at the same time, you know, he's in the ring right in the cage right now. That was a right great now. tip. Though, look at sweep. that. That was beautiful. Now he's a butterfly there in sweep. That was beautiful. Oh, elbow by Mocky Batua. Short Good. elbows. Now he needs a oh. calm down. Oh. gives his back up. I'd like to see him get seatbelt control there. Yep. And Gokhan does a very nice job getting up and squaring his hips back. Oh, and trip. Goes from the very down. nice trip there. It. And back to the dominant position for Gokhan. And that really could have broken the spirit of the tour there, couldn't it, guys? Uh, look, that, that, that'll, that'll deplete him a little bit, yeah, let's be honest. That was a beautiful sweep fill by uh, Mikey Hitchcock. Right now, Gokhan had a lot to live up to after the performances of James Bishop and of Rob Hill, but he's doing himself really proud right now and, you know, also putting his hand up to be one of the favourites moving forward in this competition. Now, people have spoken about his uh, stand-up. Nice but he's guard pass by Gokhan. His ground game's been good as well tonight, guys. Uh, side control, move back in the full guard, back in the side control. Elbow City here, drop those elbows, the short elbows. And the full mount, no, Mikey just trapped the foot to get a level of half guard. The dominant position here for Gokhan. Yeah. There he needs to set up there. Oh, what's the close to it. Got a Final 90 seconds. Can't have those shoulders back on the mat like that for Mikey Vitua. 90 seconds for Vitua to pull something out here and take this fight. Back in the foot in the half guard for, for Gokhan. Wouldn't it be nice if the ref just stood him up at one Let stage go. for one more last bang? 30 right. seconds of... Oh! oh! But Gokhan's staying too active for that, yeah, you know? That was nice. Up here. Oh. That here we go. Cool. If you got your wish, Matty. Here we go. Oh, this is... Oh, 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 from everywhere. Look at Mikey go. Look at the hooks. He wants to bring it Come on. Oh, oh. take down oh. again by Gokhan. Look at Ben Livingston. He's going bananas in the corner. Discipline there by Gokhan, uh, very disciplined. But we got to see it, we got that excitement. And you see Mikey's punches, they were coming like, from his hip line. He caught him out too, he said, come on. Yeah, but again, this, this is maybe Final not the exciting finish seconds. that we wanted. It's a smart this, finish. This just shows how good Gokhan actually yep. is. He takes very much, he, he puts a lot of heavy pressure on his yep. opponent. He's, he's relentless, he's non-stop. Very impressive performance. And barring some sort of judge crisis, Gokhan goes through to the second round of this tournament. Well, he does anyway with Mikey's uh, fail to make way, but he should go through uh, winning this fight at the same time. Yeah, clearly for me too. Mikey had some good moments in the fight. He did, though. he did. He did himself proud. Has Fighting for pride, he's done himself really hasn't proud. Hasn't been disgraced, and that first round was very close. And that is it. Three rounds in the books. And Gokhan, Turkey will miss. Mikey's still calling him out from the middle, but the fight is done and dusted. And we have our third participants through the second round. Jason Reinhardt, your thoughts on that fight? Well, my thoughts is Gokhan took Limaz is, uh, is an animal. I mean, uh, they call him the pit bull. They don't call him the pit bull for nothing. He's going to be a very dangerous uh, bonus for anybody. Yeah, that was fun. As you see in the replays here, Really good striking exchange, but the majority of that fight was dominated by Gokhan with the ground control and the effective ground and pound. You see there, three, four, like out of five takedowns from Gokhan in that fight. Use the knees well, use the elbows well. Uh, it really impressive performance. And for Mikey, like I said, you know, he never down the heart of the Samoan warrior. He fights his heart out every time. Uh, it's just beat by, by a better opponent. And there's the respect, I love that. Bit of a chat after the fight. They've been getting a picture together. Yeah, we love that's, to see that's that. Great. That's martial arts. And that, that's the important part of the sport, exactly right. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have gone to the judges' scorecards. Your three judges have scored the contest. 30-27, 30-27, 29-28. Oh. Declaring your winner via unanimous points and moving through to the next round. Blue corner, Gokhan, the pit bull, Karkulmas. What an absolute war. Round of applause for Mikey Matua. He's been a long-serving fighter of the AFC.
But go Khan. Congratulations. What an absolute big following that you have. As all your big fans here. And we might just get go Khan's corner, give him a towel. But go Khan, the AFC lightweight tournament. Adam and Kelly bought this tournament in in 2016 to crown a champion by the end of 2016. You have advanced now to AFC 16. Third fight of the night, a tough war against the very seasoned opponent in Batua. Tell us your thoughts going through your mind right now. Yeah, definitely a tough fight. You know, um, uh, the way it didn't go as planned as we, as we wanted. You know, uh, uh, he came a bit heavy and you know, that, that's part of the game. Happens sometimes. Um, I've come into the fight with a broken rib just a week before and I just took the fight on board. But um, Mike is tough, you know. I usually stay in trade, but he caught me early with a cut, so I didn't want to get the cut even worse. So I've been working a bit more on my wrestling, so you know, that's why I wanted a good display. I can go on the ground as well, too. Uh, first fight in the AFC, uh, what were the nerves like? The biggest card in uh, the Southern Hemisphere, a, a card that a lot of fighters have advanced into the UFC. Um, you know, for me, this is another fight. You know, not, the brand name is also AFC, is one of the best shows in Australia, and I'm, I just want to keep on fighting around the world. I'll fight on the next show in kickboxing uh, on May 27 on Tarek show uh, on here on this in this place again May 27. So kickboxing, MMA, and all over the world, and first one back in Australia for a while. On behalf of Adam Kelly, the AFC, you've won a liquid silver $100 tattoo, a hair box uh, creep pack, and. Uh you're advancing to AFC 16 in our semi-finals and potentially could be a lightweight champion later this year. Yeah, can I say thank you to everyone that service supported me. Shogun Fight Team, Ben's been there from the start. It's my brother's birthday, so I dedicate this to him. Get over him. Um, all my sponsors, you know, Fighters Against Child Abuse and Integrated MMA and Phuket Top Team and everyone else that's come supported. You know, I support all everyone's working input. Congratulations, we'll see you back at AFC 16. Go Khan!